I'm Dr. Aruna Prasad, dermatologist and cosmetologist. We do give, uh, since vitiligo is considered as an autoimmune disorder, meaning self-destruction of the melanocytes or melanocytes stop from giving out melanin pigment. So we do give immunosuppressive drugs which suppresses the immune system and thus whereby the melanin pigment is not destroyed and plus along with that we give some pigmenting agents we, we tell them to apply the lotions and gels wait for some time exposed to the sun where the sunlight pigments the lesions there are many surgeries done for the vitiligo we used to do uh, skin grafting in olden days now they which used to look about artificial but now we do have a newer method where we take melanocytes from the patient culture them outside the patient in vitro and re-inject it into the patients. So it colors it in a very natural way. So the patch doesn't look uh, as if something has been grafted on it. Well, there are type uh, conditions where we have seen that the patient once treated, they never get back the condition. In some people, they're treated, they do fine. And after a couple of years, they again come back saying the reappearing of the patch. Yes, there are concealers which are available um, by uh, reputed medical uh, pharmaceuticals. Also, offhand over the counters, you do get these concealers which can mask the vitiligo patch.